Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. We are still in exot exotic industry, and the plan today is to start shifting some of our legacy build into modules. The first thing I'd like to do is see if we can do something about the sciences. So, I'm going to pick up all this, and then we'll see if we can put together a um, labs module. And then after we've done the labs module, we'll um, jury rig something to get these sciences in, and then look at building some science modules. So, in between episodes, I did a bit of make work, just tidying up some modules, um, putting down some large power poles, that sort of thing. All right, bit full. So, um, we're going to need a couple of supply depots to temporarily to make sure that we have the. Um, let's move that up one more. And. There we go. In fact, I think we can probably get away with just one of these. Alright, so we're going to dump the science we're manufacturing on the minibus. Just straight into here. There we go. And then it's available to the network, which is the important bit, isn't it? Uh, don't need that. Good, we've got the labs. Can I pick these up? Yeah. So where should we put the labs? Um, ah, this is disconnected because... We haven't connected up the power between the two halves of this build. All right, let's do that. That's fixed that. Good. Um, we've got another issue, which is that uh, no petroleum is coming in because the um, side product here is backed up. Uh, now, I'm not worried at the moment because we only need plastic for big electric poles and we have plenty of plastic for that. Uh, I believe Benzene is the thing which uses up the other product. Um, yeah, use residual oil for benzene is one of my to-dos. Labs and science modules are the other two. So we're doing labs now. Um, I should have taken it rather than just ticking it, but oh well. And let's put the labs over here because I don't think there's anything else we're doing with this. All right, so we need a um, red-green input. I don't know how many more um, types of item we're going to require. Good. Um, what's the best way to do this? I'm trying to do this as neat as possible. All right. And then we're going to have, um, I don't know, probably three belts of science, although I've got, I actually don't know um, how many different sciences we're going to need for this, because I haven't looked. So let's, let's sort of measure out what's, um, what's going to fit. Okay, so that, that looks to me like it, fits, yeah? And then we're leaving a gap at the top for rover ports. Um, okay, so that was nine. And that is ten. Okay, let's start putting these down. I honestly don't know if I have enough electric labs. Okay, so it looks like we need four more to fill this up, which I will do at another time, because apparently I need copper parts. We'll, oh, we've, we're actually stood next to copper, so we can grab... There we go. Okay, four of those. 
and then we can start putting down inserters and I think that can go there. If if this is not enough labs, we just make a second lab module. So that's that's the pretty much the way we're going to be doing this. Good. And then this ah oh, needs power poles. Then I think I can take this. Good. And then turn my bots back on. And in the meantime, we've actually got plenty of those yellow arms, so we'll, we're fine. Good. So that module's done. So let's start off by requesting... That was silly. I should have used... And... Uh, apologies. I'm... Uh, Confusing myself. All right, so we're requesting science packs. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the things. However, these labs can only take four. So at least for now, uh, flip with an F. Okay. So then I think Yeah, I think that's fine. We need the one extra power pole there. Okay, so then this needs to be a blue one. Honestly, I have no idea why I put down reds. Okay, so this is the blue science pack for electricity. And let's just put one truck in each one for now. And then this is going to be the computer age one, uh, which obviously currently doesn't exist. Let's double check. Yeah, these can consume computer age. So that's all future proofed. Brilliant. We've got some science in that tub. Um, I can have that arm back. Okay, so what's... Th and there's no science coming down this belt. Have I done something stupid? Something weird has happened here. Okay, so this has no iron. Uh, oh, somehow I've managed to turn this belt. That would explain it. Um, iron mechanicals, copper. I need some more copper mechanicals for handcrafting. So what's the next thing? So I would like to make a module which just does... Oh, here they go. I think we'll... Um... Oh, that's going the wrong way. That's tr Let's follow one of these dudes doing its job. So he's picked up some green science packs. And down we go. Blue ones have been dropped off. Green ones are dropped off. And there should be red ones coming in any moment. Any moment. Yes, here's red ones. They've all taken slightly different paths. Good. All right, so that is some science packs. Uh, it's going to take a little while for this to fully buffer up, I think, but the will is there. Okay, so let's make a red science pack um, module. So if we look up here, red science packs are just the ingots. That is straightforward. And I'm going to build each science pack in its own module uh, because I have no idea how much we're going to need to scale up science production. I know that... Um, there we go. I know that the reds manufacture very quickly, so it's not going to be what we ratio out everything else to. Now, there's two ways we could do this. We could either have belts on the outsides or 
we could have a belt going down the middle and use a, an alternation of arms. And I think we're going to do that. Okay, so let's put a re red thing up here. So this will end up going in. There you are. All right. So then that's going to be the other one. Let's copy. Whoop. Copy these two machines. Okay, so in principle... Whoops. I didn't mean to build those. We could do eight down each side, which I think is massive overkill. Um, so what I'm going to do is start off with just two in the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we can grow this build if needed. Um, if it really turned out to be too small, I think there's actually room... Yeah, there's plenty of room to put them side by side. So we could get quite a big red science build out of this, but that's that's not really my main concern. What is my concern is to get these arms in the right place. Is this the right way to do it? No, I think this is the right way to do it. Um, so I'm trying to line out the ins and the outs to be off the same bit of belt so that when we get to the top, um, we'd have this situation. We wouldn't be inserting into this loader. I don't know if you can insert into loaders, I haven't tested it, but I don't want to make a build today uh, which won't work tomorrow. So this is a nice simple way to do it. Okay, so this is powered up. Um, since we don't have the larger poles, do we have... I can make three of them. I think for now I'm going to use wooden poles. Um, I think it's just less hassle. Okay, and then we can request in... Iron ingots. Copper ingots. Um, then I need... Um, let's start with one truck of each. We can always add more trucks if that turns out to not be enough. Okay, and then the most important bit, um, I don't want to turn the entire map into red science, so we're going to cap that at five stacks, which should be fine for now. Later on, when we um, improve things, uh, we may need more than five stacks. Okay, we have a fuel alert, and the fuel alert is because we are requiring petroleum, um, but we're not doing anything with the byproduct. So maybe we need to go down and have a quick think about what to do with that. In the very short term, what we can do is storage tank it. Um, but that's obviously not a long-term solution. Okay, so for now, let's put that down. This will start to fill. Okay, it's already filled up to 5K. So it looks like this is not gonna be a long-term option. Um, but it's got us going for now. Okay. It's um, not too far to run, but I'd prefer not to be running. Good. So we've got the copper coming through. All right, the next build is the... Um, can we do this from map? Yes, we can. The next build is the um, green science. Okay, that requires steam engines and copper parts. So let's have a look at this. Um, if we take this as a template, okay, and with um, 
Oh, different machines. That's rather daft. Okay, so let's change this recipe over by hand. Good. And then we... This is the wrong arrangement. But we can... Copy this stuff over. Good. Get those recipes correct. They're all correct now. And again, we can double this build if we need to. Is there room to treble it? Yes, there is. We can actually do a treble build if we need to. That's pretty awesome. Um, this is going to be here, and I can dump out the green signs in my inventory. Right, so let's put these down because I want to count things. Okay, so these require some mechanical parts and some steam engines. So if we had a mechanical part maker here and a steam engine maker here Let's see how badly it is out of ratio. Okay, so that is way under for mechanical parts. Let's see what's... Okay, so it's one mechanical parts per four. And then for the steam engine, This produces 0.33. This consumes one. Okay. So this is looking more like it's going to be a direct insert type thing. It's a two to one. Okay, very nearly two to one. Um, okay, so if we did something like that, these can output onto this belt, and we'll flip this to this side just so we can keep the build in mind. Okay. So then, this needs as inputs copper and pipe. Okay, so this is another copper parts. Let's see how that ratios out. Okay, so that's way, way more than enough. I only need one of these machines, I think, for the whole thing. Um... Okay, so, and then let's look at pipes. There we go. Okay, do we have enough pipe? No, we don't. So I need two, two pipe machines to satisfy this. Um, but... 167 times 2 is going to be... Yeah, that's fine. That's less than 1.33. So this this catalogue is fine. Um, it's more a question of how I wire up the pipes and this. Um... Let's overkill. We will have inputs there for copper. Uh, and I'll work out how to wire that in a minute. But basically, that'll be copper. 
Um, in fact, that would work, wouldn't it? Okay, then we need iron. And I could make it symmetric. I don't see why I shouldn't make it symmetric. Okay, then this needs an output. And we can tell this to drop one further out, but I'm gonna use a, a red inserter just because I have them I have them to hand. Okay, and then this can be a pipe machine. All right, so then the question is, how do I get, how do I mirror this to the other side? Let's see. Let's grab all of this and flip. There we go. So I need to bring iron in here. Ooh, that didn't work very well. Uh, put that back. I don't know why that overrode. That's a quick replace bug in my opinion. Okay. Um, let's put a second one of these here, like that. It's not the neatest build, but I think it will do. Okay, and then we're going to need to add uh, power poles in various places. Um, don't think it's going to work to put power poles there, so let's do them. Okay, it's going to be slightly neater to move that up one. Uh, and then This is horribly towards the bottom of the build, isn't it? But I think we can live with that for now. Okay, so... It'll all stop flashing in a moment. Oh, it has all stopped flashing. That's good. And we should be getting some iron in. What about copper? I think we're waiting on petrol for that one. Yeah, here it comes. So. Oh no! Okay, I've totally forgotten the recipe for pipe because if that's the recipe that pipe is in vanilla. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so. My pipe machine requires plate, wherever that is, there, and mechanical parts. That's the wrong recipe, that's a special kind of pipe. Um, I just want normal pipe, that's it. And I'm just going to double check the rates here do work. No. It requires two plate machines. Okay, this is starting to look like a bit more of a mess, isn't it? Okay, how can we improve this? Right, first thing, I want to move the whole build upwards.
Um, can I put it there? Yeah, I think if I pull that up, I can put it there. Good. All right. Next thing is I'm going to grab some more belt because I've managed to run out. Um, I'm glad I put down a couple of manufacturers over here though. Good. <clears throat> and I'm glad I kept that running. <clears throat> okay, so let's have another think about the iron. I will pull things off the ground in a minute. Let's put down a box. I can dump all the pipe for now. That will do the job. Okay. So, how do the mechanical parts work? Hmm. I'm just bit confused here. So it's okay. If I move all of this up one, then will I have room? Okay, so if I then put that on a belt, I can put the pipe machine there. This can direct feed, that can come off the belt. And this can then go on to here. Does that work? Um, this appears to work. This is fed over, this is crafting. Yes, that does work. Brilliant, okay. So let's take this. Can I move this whole build up by one tile, is the question I want to ask. Yeah, I think I can. All right, let's move this up one. And this up one. Okay, now we have room for a splitter. Brilliant. And now I can take this whole bit here and I can flip it. Good, and it would go there. Try again. And that is it. Um, I need some more, more inserters. These builds seem to be extremely inserter hungry. Um, but that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? So we've, we've got a mirrored build for making our green science. Uh, let's Oh, that is already limited. That's good, because I copy-pasted it from the red build. Um, so it looks like if we want more green, we would need a um, bigger module, basically, because everything here is 
not exactly ratioed out, but ratioed out close enough. Okay, and then the last build is probably quite a simple one. The, um, oh, it's off the top of my radar coverage. Well, we can fix that at the same time as we go up to have a look. So I'm going to drag a wooden power pole line. which will, of course, be ripped up quite soon. Good, up we go. We can put down a radar here, give us some good coverage. All right, so this has three inputs, all of which are complicated builds. So I think I just need 16 machines fed off two belts and uh, call that it. And then we've got all the intermediates to make for, for the um, electronic science, but we're not going to do those intermediates now. What I can do, however, is cut these belts because we are now making these sciences in their own modules, so we don't need them being made on bus as well. Okay, so I just need something with... Um, this has eight, so I need 16. Let's see if we've got the materials to do 16. 5, 10, 15. That's like 16, isn't it? Um, 16 is going to need uh, plenty of arms. Okay, so this is the electricity. And then it has, a, I'm just going to sketch it up here. It has an output and it has two inputs. All right, one way to do this would be as um, first input, second input, output. But if we do that, there's no space for there's no space to put the um, uh, power poles. All right, so I think we're gonna have to run outside belts. And I'm just doing this to get a view of how big this build is. So if I cut that. Okay, turn off my bots. There is room for two of these builds. Okay, so so this has 4, 4 is 8, this has 16. So that is a 16 build, and I quite like it, to be honest. Um, and we can double it because I think there's room, uh, there's probably not room for our... Um, for our supply, okay, but let's copy this, because then it's in the same position. I got it in the right place, didn't I? Yeah, and it's got the limit set. Okay, put this in the middle, as near as I can. And then it needs three inputs, so let's set that up. And uh, what are the quantities for these? Oh, they're all near enough the same quantity. Steel mechanical parts, I think we can make them on site. So we'll import steel, engine units, and electronic circuits. Um, so we need three request depots. Let's make these green circuits. Where are they? Green circuits, engines. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, I quite like that. That's that's a fun way to do it. 
Um, then uh, we're going to need enough steel parts. So let's work out just how many steel parts that would be. Um, okay. So this requires 1.08 steel parts. And here's a single steel part maker. This makes one. So I need two of these machines. Whoops. Two of these machines to guarantee to make enough. Um, so this is steel. Good. I'm not sure if this is quite in the right place. Okay, I think I'm going to move this up quite a lot. Oh, we've finished the research. Let's carry on. Um, so longer inserters, circuit networks, automation two. That gives us better assembling machines. Um, lab research speed, fluid handling, advanced materials processing, electric furnaces, that is. Basic benzol production. That's the one I think we need because um, we need to start turning our crazy oil into something useful. All right, so these two will input, output, then I think we can run this around the opposite way. Whoop. Good, that way everybody gets a sight of both products. Um, I don't actually yet. Yeah, let's get this started. Um, although we're not making any of these materials, so it's, you know, a little bit of a moot point. All right, so how's this going to look? We're going to have inputs there, then in and like that. So let's just take this unit and then it's going to have a power pole like that. Good, and then we just need extra power poles along the top. Okay, then I'm not convinced I have all the materials to make this, but let's give it a go. Good, we can trim this belt back. And this is obviously not gonna be anything like a belt of materials, so we can just load them like that. And that's our electric research done. So next time we're going to start looking at making the um, inputs of this, the steel, the engines and the circuits. And again, they will get their own modules. And I think that will largely fill up this area. However, we are definitely progressing. Um, if we look over here, our, our labs are all running. Everything seems backed up. I think at the moment everything is good. Um, so we'll call that a success. Um, it's been a bit of a, a design heavy um, episode, but I'm, I've quite enjoyed that. I think that's um, a fun way to spend a bit of time. I will kick off the rest of the researches we can do. Um, concrete looks like it's going to be useful. Lab research speed since the labs are backed up. And then we're going to do a bunch of these uh, quality of life researches. So. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Like and subscribe and stay safe. Bye bye.